my team, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magali and I cannot believe that it's day 26 of our challenge already. Five more days. Is it four more days? Anyway, today is all about connecting to our inner warrior. It's a super playful practice, so I invite you to come with an open mind, find your dance, find your groove, find what feels good for you and meet yourself there. So when you're ready, I'll see you on the mat. start kneeling today so when you're ready make your way here and I invite you to just take a moment to close off the eyes and tune into your body today notice anything that's going on and know that here we're going to flow shift some energy and I invite you to come and be playful today we're going to have fun connect to our dancing warrior and see where that takes us no judgment no condition. Ah, tuning into your breath. Ah, beautiful. Hmm. I invite you to bring your hands to heart centre and to blink the eyes open. As you inhale, shine the heart forwards, cactus the arms to the sides, lift the gaze. As you exhale, give yourself a hug, chin to chest. Two more, inhale, open the heart to your day. Exhale, hug it in. Oh, last one, inhale, find that breath to body movement. Exhale, big hug. Beautiful. Come to centre and then make your way to tabletop position. So shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, pressing the ground away with the hands and finding the sense of lifting of energy from the centre, from the centre, so like we're trying to gravitate off the mat. <sighs> Beautiful. From here I invite you to imagine that you have a pencil coming out of your head and a pencil coming out of your bottom. We're going to get super silly and curious and playful with two pieces of paper, one in front and one behind you. Let's go ahead and create some circles on our paper. Paint your picture, paint your circles, really rinsing out the spine. Ah, letting go of anything that is not serving you today in your practice. The sillier you look, the sillier you feel, I should say, you can't look silly, the better you're doing it. Ah, and slowly make your way back to centre. Beautiful. Let's do it the other side. So this may take a minute. For the brain to adjust, for the brain to comprehend, we always have a side or a way that is more comfortable. It's really working our brain today <laughs> as much as our body. Find your breath, <sighs> find your flow, circle it out, rinse it out. And slowly come back to centre. <sighs> Amazing. From here, walk the hands forward, one hand length, tuck the toes, take a big inhale, press you downward facing dog as you exhale, tailbone towards the sky, pressing the hands into the earth, grounding the knuckles into the mat, beautiful. Pedaling the feet, bending the knees one at a time, lengthening the legs. If you've practiced with me before, or you've been on this challenge journey with me, you'll know the drill, really finding some physicality to your practice, being playful. And if stillness is where you need to be, that is perfect as well. <sighs> Two more breaths here, wherever you are. <sighs> Beautiful. Walk the feet to the front of your mat. And at the top, hang in ragdoll. Grab opposite elbow to opposite hand, no tension in the neck, allow yourself to hang loose. Perhaps you give yourself a swing side to side, or again, maybe stillness is your jam, and that is amazing. Find what works for you, meet yourself there, no judgment. <sighs> Beautiful. Release the hands to the mat. Soft knees, press the feet into the earth as you inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. 
exhale, shoulders back and down. Beautiful. Soft knees, inhale, reach the arms up. Fold forwards as you exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale, glide the hands up the legs, navel to spine, gaze forward, and then exhale, melt belly to thighs. Soft knees, we roll all the way up to standing. And then release the breath at the top. Beautiful. Two more, inhale. Oh, the screen's cutting me off, that's okay. Exhale, fold forwards. Find your halfway lift as you press into the feet, hands to thighs, gaze forward, navel to spine. Exhale, melt belly to thighs. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, soft knees, we roll up. Release the shoulders back and down. Exhale, amazing, last one. Find that fluid movement. Inhale, reach it up. Easing into your body as you exhale, bow down. <sighs> Halfway lift, we press into the feet, squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze forward. Exhale, bow down, melt belly to thighs. Bend the knees, we roll all the way up, inhale. Shoulders back and down. <sighs> exhale, beautiful. Okay. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Send the left leg behind us. We're coming into warrior one. We want two very clear railroad tracks here with the feet. So the back heel is behind the toes. The left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Let's bend this front knee towards the ankle and find length in this left hip flexor as we anchor this right hip back, beautiful. Sending the tailbone down as we reach navel to heart space. Maybe we reach the hands towards the sky. Yogi's choice. Really anchoring through the knife edge of that back foot. Your warrior one. What does your warrior look like? <sighs> what are your warrior of? Beautiful. Take a big inhale here. And then as you exhale, reach the hands out to the side and then bring this back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Keep sending the front knee over towards the right ankle. The knee is facing the same direction as the right toes, reaching the fingertips out to the side. Perhaps you find a bit more softness in the hips. If your shoulders are a bit tight, it might feel good to have your palms facing up. Beautiful. Ah, okay, let's drop this left hand down to the left leg. Big inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the sky. Reverse warrior. This reminds me of a dancing warrior, which is the theme of our flow, so it's perfect. Keep bending the right knee towards the ankle. Navel to spine, navel to heart space, so core is nice and active. Beautiful, take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, reach the forearm on top of the right thigh and inhale, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. So there's this beautiful long diagonal line from left foot to left fingertips. Gazing wherever feels good. Maybe it's comfortable to gaze over towards the left pinky. Beautiful. Stay with me. Strong legs, strong body, strong mind. That is my motto. You'll know it if you've been here before. <laughs> Okay, from here we're going to lift the back heel off the mat and face the hips forward. Amazing, press into both feet, come all the way up to standing, release the left leg down, amazing. Let's do the other side, I'll just come to the back of my mat so I can stay facing you, you can stay at the front of yours. Hands to heart, let's bring the right leg behind us and then the heel is behind the toes, so it's at a 45 degree angle. Find some softness in that left knee as we soften the hips closer to the earth. Finding a gentle tuck in that tailbone so we focus on lengthening this right hip as we plug the left hip back. Navel to heart space so the core is nice and strong and active. We scoop that lower belly in. Maybe we inhale, reach the arms up. Anchoring through the knife edge of that back foot. Super important as if we're trying to lift the arch, the inner arch off the mat. 
Take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, open the hips to the side of your mat and bring the back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat, reaching the fingertips either side. This is your warrior two. Opening in this left inner hip, sending the left knee out towards the pinky side of that left foot. Strong warrior. What are your warrior of? What is your warrior's motto? Let's bring the right hand down onto the right leg. Big inhale, reach the left fingertips towards the sky. Beautiful. Stay with me, you've got this. Find a bit of softness in the posture if you can, a bit of ease amongst the effort. And then as you exhale, let's bring the left forearm onto the left thigh. Big inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the sky again. Beautiful long line of energy from fingertips to left, to left foot, to right foot, I mean. <laughs> Find that worry inside of you when it starts to get a bit tough on the physical body. Get that mental warrior out. You've got this. Beautiful. Let's lift the back heel and shift the weight forward, bringing the hips forward. Beautiful. From here, press into both feet. Jump to the top of your mat. Release the right leg down. Fabulous. Okay, we're going to find a breath to body movement connection here, really trying to find fluidity in our flow. And we'll move one breath to one body movement. I invite you to be playful with yourself. If you're a bit wobbly, welcome the wobble in. It is all, all welcome here. Okay, coming to the top of your mat, feet hip width apart, hands to heart center. <sighs> Shift the weight towards the right foot. Send the left leg behind you and then drop the back heel down. As you inhale, bend the front knee, lower the hips, reach the hands towards the sky. As you exhale, open the hips, arms out to the sides. Beautiful, find your breath. Left hand down to left leg, big inhale, right fingertips to sky. Find your dancing warrior. As you exhale, right forearm down, Inhale, reach the left fingertips forward, lift the back heel off, press into both feet, exhale, come back to standing, beautiful. Find your breath, take a moment here. Let's step the right leg to the back of the mat, lower the heel, foot is at a 45 degree angle. Bend the front knee as we inhale, lower the hips, reach the arms to the sky. As we exhale, open the arms, open the hips out to the side. Find your dance, right hand down, inhale, left hand up. And then exhale, left forearm down. Inhale, reach the right fingertips forward, bring the hips to face the front, lift the back heel. Exhale, strong in the standing leg, come back to the top. Beautiful. Find your breath, find your flow. We're going to do it one more time. Set the left leg to the back of the mat. Soft knees, soft hips as you inhale, find your warrior one, reach your fingertips towards the sky. What is your warrior? Exhale, open the hips out to the side. Find softness, find ease, left hand down. Inhale, right fingertips up. Exhale, right forearm down. And then inhale, reach the left fingertips up. Bring the back heel up and then exhale strong in that right leg as you come back up amazing stay with me one more time on this side step the right leg back back heel down 45 degree angle anchor through the knife edge find softness in the hips bend the knee inhale reach the arms up exhale open the hips out knee stays reaching forward arms up Right hand down, inhale, left hand up, find your dancing warrior. As you exhale, left forearm down. And then inhale, right fingertips up. We lift the back heel, shift forward, and then exhale, come back to the top. Take a moment here, I invite you to bring both hands to your belly. Notice that maybe your breath has quickened. 
its energy, invite it into your body, into your practice. <sighs> Amazing. Release the hands down by your side, bring chin to chest and roll all the way down to your mat. Hanging in the rag dog, giving yourself a little swing side to side. If you're holding on to anything that is not serving you, just imagine that it's spilling off your back, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, from here, bring the fingertips to the earth and toe heel the feet together. And then bend the knees, lift the heels and come sit the bum on the heels. We're coming to a little balance challenge, toe squat. Option to keep your hands on the earth, that is absolutely perfect. Option to challenge yourself maybe a little bit further and to bring both hands off the mat and hands to heart center, beautiful. Maybe you bring a smile to your face. <laughs> In moments of effort, we tend to compensate by scrunching up different parts of our body. See if you can relax the shoulders down, relax the face muscles. We've got two more breaths here. Stay with me, you're doing amazing. <sighs> Beautiful. Take one more breath. <sighs> and slowly release down. Fabulous. Bring the bum to the up. Lengthen the legs out in front of you. Maybe give them a little bit of a shake out your whole body, a bit of a shake out. Well done for dancing it out today. Okay, let's bring the right knee towards the chest and then right foot outside of left leg. Left toes towards the face. It's right knee, left arm. We hug the right knee with the left arm. Big inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the sky. And then big exhale, find your twist, right fingertips behind you. If you're lucky enough to live in a flexible body, you might be able to perhaps bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee for a bit of a more spicier twist. Yogi's choice, whatever feels good for your body today. And even if you can do it, it might not be for you today and that's perfect. <sighs> Rinsing out your practice, any obstacles, anything that you're holding on to. Let's take one more inhale here. Exhale, come back to your center. Swap sides, lengthen the right leg, and then bring the left knee in towards the chest. Left foot outside of right leg. Right toes to sky. There's so many left and right, isn't there? <laughs> left knee, right arm. <laughs> Hug it in. Take a big inhale, left fingertips towards the sky, and then exhale, left fingertips behind you. Beautiful. <sighs> And again, perhaps you want to, you don't have to, you can place the elbow on the outside of that left knee for a bit of a deeper, more spicier twist. But again, maybe it's not for you. And even if it's accessible, it might not be for you today. Find what feels good today and meet yourself there because it's perfect and it's exactly what you need. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, release, beautiful. I invite you to come to a comfortable cross-legged position. And if cross legs is not comfortable, remember this is your practice. Find a position that is comfortable for you. I invite you to allow the hands to land wherever they land. I invite you to close the eyes or perhaps just simply lower the gaze if closing doesn't feel good. <sighs> Coming back to softness. I invite you to visualize yourself in your practice today. Visualize your warrior moving. What are you a warrior of? What is your motto as a warrior? I invite you to take this thought with you for the rest of your day, your week, whatever you are. Know that wherever you go, you are a warrior. Give yourself permission to dance even as a warrior, to be playful and curious. 
Two more breaths here. Tune into yourself, notice any sensations that you're feeling. It's all welcome, it's all valid. Beautiful. On your next inhale, open the arms out to the sides and reach them up towards the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands to heart and bow the head to close your practice. Thank you, thank you, my warriors, for practicing with me today. You are wonderful. I will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.